Well, hi there. I hope you're enjoying your Saturday. I woke up this morning and checked the AZ-303 and AZ-304 pages on Microsoft's website, and I noticed this. The exam will be updated on November 24th, 2020. And I had a quick heart attack because I just finished updating these courses. It's same is true for the AZ-304, also going to be updated. And of course, I'm going to go immediately into the exam objectives. So you scroll down into the exam skills outline. They do have this track changes on. And so we should be able to see the, the changes. And fortunately for AZ-303, there really is no changes. It's a bit of a fake out. They're, um, they want you to have a little bit of heart attack like I did. But what we're going to find is that uh, if we go down to the bottom here where they have the differences, that right here, the Implement and Configure Azure AD Managed Identities, and they've taken out the term Azure AD. So it's just Manage Identities. So uh, that's not really a change. That's just a, a clarification, if you will. And that's the only change on the exam. So if you're, if you're afraid that this November 24th change is going to impact you, I assure you it won't. You will not have to change your study routine for this. Um, my courses will not be updated for this, okay? Now, AZ-304 is a different story. So the content of this exam also updated November 24th. When you go down into here, let me zoom for you. And we'll scroll down to the bottom half where the track changes is turned on. We're going to see that there's actually going to be more stuff added to the exam. Now, in this case, it's a not. So it is not going to ask you about ping federate. And so it's just a clarification in that case. But we can see now they've added Azure Resource Graph as a new requirement to this exam. So I'm going to have to update this course to cover this. We also have a geo redundancy being an issue within business continuity. Now that is, I think that's already typically covered. Um, you know, when I'm talking about creating uh, applications that are going to be uh, highly available, we're talking about multiple regions. Okay. And so geo redundancy is not really, it's more of a clarification, although they've broken it out as its own thing. Actually, they moved geo redundancy from high availability into backup and recovery. Well, I guess this is Azure Site Recovery where it can uh, copy your application into a new region as part of the uh, not, uh, backup. We can see that uh, Azure Batch has made a new appearance. So they keep adding and removing Azure Batch. It, it was in an exam and then it was removed from the next version and added and removed fifth time you know being added back into this series and high performance computing we have we don't we don't ever talk about that uh in these exams the hub and spoke now i have added uh videos to this uh course about hub and spoke architecture so um glad to see that and then just some capitalization and changes dmz's and things like that scrolling down under application architecture They've, you know, reintroduced Service Fabric. It's just like Azure Batch. They sometimes they ask about at Service Fabric, and then sometimes they they remove it from the following exam. And now they've added it back. AKS Azure App Configuration under Recommendations. Azure Pipelines. We don't see Azure Pipelines or Azure DevOps being asked about in any of the architecture exams. So this is sort of the first time we're adding in an Azure DevOps topic. And finally, a data migration. So we've talked about migration of applications, migration of databases, but now we're talking about migration of storage, and particularly Azure Data Box. I'm gonna to have to add a video talking about migrating storage accounts. So to me, this is all reasonable changes. Maybe we're talking about maybe an extra hour of study um, not even. So the, the changes are quite um, um, manageable. I don't think you need to change your plans if you were planning to take this exam. 
I wouldn't change the date of your exam booking. I wouldn't um, stop studying because of this. This is just a, um, let's call this a 5% or less change to the exam requirements. All very reasonable. Anyways, this is just a heads up. If you're studying for AZ-303 or AZ-304, then uh, you're going to see, well, no changes on this one and just a few changes on the other. My courses will be updated. Of course, I do have courses, so please check the links in the description of this video to find out more about learning for the Azure Architect Expert Certification. This has been Scott Duffy from softwarearchitect.ca. Please subscribe to the channel or hit like button if you are interested in seeing more videos about Azure, particularly about certifications, but also general Azure topics. Uh, love to hear from you guys. Leave a comment and we'll talk to you again.